there are various methods that are used to detect mutations in our cells and the genome in the body however there is one method that is used till date and it has uh, achieved some various forms that have reformed the way it worked but it still is very popular this method is the clb method this was given by h g muller in 1927 for which he even received a nobel prize as the experiment as a method is there for detection of mutations the type of mutations that we are going to detect are sex linked recessive lethal mutations what we basically want to know the aim of this experiment is to study the mutagenic action of x ray mutagen is anything that can induce a mutation in the cell therefore by performing this clb method we understand the mutagenic action of x ray the sex linked mutation means that it has something to do with the x chromosome recessive means that it has to be present in a homozygous condition only then it will be able to express itself that means in heterozygous condition in this x chromosome this uh, mutation will not be able to express and lethal means that if it actually is present in the homozygous condition the organism will die as these three things come together as our clb come together we understand how it is used in the screening of the organisms that we do not need and finally give us a product and with the help of a ratio we can understand whether our x ray have induced some mutation or not clb method is based on two crosses in the first cross we have a drosophila female and a drosophila male in this method we are considering that organism to be drosophila in the female we have one normal x chromosome and we know that a female has to be xx the second chromosome however is a clb chromosome the clb is made up of three major constituents the first one the c is a crossover inhibitor this is an inversion sequence because of the presence of the c our clb chromosome does not undergo crossover and therefore it is ensured that the c l and b stay together during the entire experiment the l is that recessive lethal allele and finally the b is a bar i gene and this is dominant the bar i gene will uh, give us a phenotype a dominant phenotype that will help us understand that which of the flies have actually received the clb chromosome as we move on with the two crosses you will be able to understand exactly how each of these play a role in our screening process so the female has one normal and one clb chromosome the male has a x and a y now this male is irradiated with the x ray therefore we will represent this x as x dash now our aim of this experiment has become to know whether this x dash is mutated or not there will be a normal x an x dash a y and one clb as the fertilization and the combinations will occur 
in the progeny there will be four possibilities that can happen the first one will be that the x combines with the x dash the second one can be that the x combines with the y of the male third possibility will be that this clbx combines with this x dash of the male and finally the clbx combines with the y from the male now we have to finally screen for the progeny that we need now let's look at the first organism this fly has a x and a irradiated x dash that we don't know yet if it's mutated or not however even if this is mutated our mutation was sex linked and recessive since there is just one copy of that mutation present this fly is going to be a normal female as we go to the x and y this is obviously again normal because there is no irradiated or the clb chromosome present here this clb x dash is the progeny that we need how we we'll identify is this is uh this xx and the clb x dash are both females however because there is a presence of this capital b or the bar i gene in this we will see bar i phenotype in the flies and therefore we can easily recognize this progeny and in the final case this male will die now this will die because there is a presence of our l which was a lethal recessive gene that was present and there is uh, technically a dominant presence of it here since y chromosome does not have anything to neutralize this gene this is not an heterozygous condition this is the hemizygous condition so now we'll move on with this female to our second cross in this second cross we now had an irradiated x and a clb chromosome female with us and a very normal and healthy male so now again gametes will form the x dash clb x and y and in the progeny again four different possibilities are possible the first one is that the x dash combines with a normal x the second one is that the x dash combines with the y the third possibility is that the clb chromosome combines with the normal x and finally the clb combines with the y now again let's look at each of these in detail in the first one there is an x dash and an x again just as it happened before this will be a normal female no matter if this x dash is mutated or not this one is what we are going to look at now this is the progeny that is going to decide whether the x dash is mutated or not how uh, we will look at that once we are done with these two now there is a clb and an x this clb and the x will result in the presence of a lethal allele but 
as there is a heterozygous condition present here as there is another x chromosome present here this l will not be able to express itself therefore our fly will stay alive however there is a dominant bar i gene present and it will result in the bar i phenotype so we can differentiate this from this fly and finally this last male is going to die i explained why it is going to die in the earlier cross if you know do tell me in the comments and what are the reasons why this male is now going to die coming back to this now there is this, this x dash and a y present we already know that the y chromosome is not exactly homologous to the x and there are no same alleles present on them if there is a condition if there is a recessive gene that is present on the x dash it will express itself in the male and if you remember we were looking at a sex linked lethal mutation or i should write recessive lethal mutation so now if this x dash has a recessive condition it is going to express itself no matter what it is sex linked it is present on the x dash and it is lethal which means that if this x dash chromosome is mutated this recessive gene will express itself and this male will die however if this x dash does not have this lethal mutation this male will stay alive and this is the end condition that we get in the clb method now if we look at the progeny we have two females and one male if we have a large number of progeny we take out ratio as we do in almost all of the crosses that take place so now if the final ratio that we are getting is 2 is to 1 final male is to female ratio oh uh, sorry female is to male ratio is 2 is to 1 it will mean that the x dash that we started with is not mutated but if we receive the entire progeny full of females only it will mean that the x dash was indeed mutated by the x ray so this was the clb method in detail this is used for the detection of mutations there are several other methods another very popular one being the attached x method i hope you understood what this is and if you like this video don't forget to press the like button subscribe to my channel press the bell icon to get all of the future updates from this channel and uh, do tell me in the comments below what you thought or if you have some doubt and do share it with your friends so that even they can benefit from this method this information as it might help you a lot in the future thanks for watching